This is his responsibility. That team he picked going to Sheffield United was appalling. And I look at the substitutes bench and think, are you, are you sure you've picked the right team there? Because on the bench were attacking players Murphy, Carroll, Ritchie, Gale, Almiron, all attacking players. Mm -hmm. They were all on the bench. What frustrates me with this is a bit like uh, Sam Allardyce when he got the Everton job. I thought, these guys have been given a fantastic opportunity. Sam at Everton, Steve Bruce at Newcastle. You've got an opportunity. If you're really as good as you're saying you are, okay, and the, these guys, you know, they're always saying, you know, we don't deserve the criticism we get, and they're always getting people defending them. If they're really that good, and you know that mantra is, oh, don't get a chance at the top club because they're English rather than because they're not good enough. Well, you've got an opportunity at a club that you can take places. Where that ends up, who knows? But you can improve them and you can try and achieve something with them and it will be noticeable, the improvement under you, if you make that work. Sam didn't do that at Everton. Uh, Newcastle, Steve Bruce, fantastic opportunity. And literally, he doesn't have to win anything. All he has to do is play exciting football. Now, I think that he's let survival get into his head. Mm. And I, I kind of understand it. It will have been the mantra at Newcastle from those above him saying, well, we cannot get relegated. And, and him as well, he didn't want to get relegated. And that's that got Newcastle, into yeah. his head. But if he, if he comes out of that a little bit and thinks about the fans, mm. they will have him close to their hearts if he tries to play some really good football and tries to entertain them. And he needs to get to that level of thinking. He needs to get to that place where he's fan-focused. Rather than Mike Ashley-focused, he's fan-focused and he's trying to play some good football, not leaving all those exciting attacking players on the bench when he go to Sheffield United. Because that's going to do two things. It's going to annoy the fans and it's going to get you the sack. So what is he doing? Just try and please the fans. And at least when you get the sack, which is inevitable at Newcastle anyway, the fans will say, well, you know what? It didn't work out for him. We didn't win anything, but... I love the way he tried to get us playing good football. Wouldn't that be something? Mike's a Newcastle fan. What do you want to say, Mike? Hi, guys. Great show as usual. Thanks, mate. Um, Appreciate that. That's all right here, Jim. I, I, I believe there's a card. At last, we've got a pundit like yourself coming on air, national radio, criticising Steve Bruce. Not, not, not one of these normal football pundits who come out and say to Newcastle fans, you want to be glad you've got Steve Bruce, how he's done, how he's done the job and stuff like that. Mike, for 18 months... His tactics of football is disgraceful. It's not even football. It's not even football, mate. I'll tell you what. We have been lucky to get the results we've been getting. The one nil wins here, the, the draws, the points we've been getting, scraping results. It's been coming for a long time. And all I can say is we're, we're bottom of the stats, shots on goal, touches in opposition box. It's just getting ridiculous, man. So, mm. what do you want him to do right now? If he could change everything and if you could program Steve Bruce to do what the Newcastle fans want, what would that be? What mean? Adrian, we can't do anything. We can't do anything. Steve Bruce is Steve Bruce. It's, it's, it's the way he is. If, if this doesn't change in the next two to three games, we are going to be looking at going down. I'm telling you that now. We need somebody to come in with a bit of passion to get the players on board, because I'm hearing that there's talks of dressing room air unrest. So there's something going on at the club. I think the, the problem is, right, we had it good with Rafa. We had a world-class manager come in. He stayed the ship. He got the supporters back on board. Took the, took the flack off Mike Ashley a little bit. We knew how, how um, Benitez was going to play. We knew the setup we were going to get. We were going to go and defend. We were going to try and sneak a win. We weren't playing the best football in the world, but we were getting results. Now, Steve Bruce, we know what we're getting. We're playing either a back, five, five at the back with two defensive midfielders or we're playing a 4-4-3-3-1 four, 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 three, three, with defensive midfielders. And now we've got Callum Wilson up front and he's got no service whatsoever. You're right, it doesn't make sense. I mean, there's a few people just, uh, they just haven't got the faith in Steve Bruce. Mike, thanks for the call. DB has tweeted, totally agree, but Bruce has not got the skill set to provide the fans with the football they so crave. Mike has uh, said on Twitter, Norwich got relegated trying to play good football. Sure, the Newcastle fans would prefer to be in the Premier League. Yeah, of course, I think they would rather stay up playing some good football, but it looks like they're playing dreadful football and they're getting sucked into a relegation battle, Mike. So where's the positives in that?